Hey guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. Uh, right now, we're in a data center. Why? Hey guys, uh, I'm in my data center right now. Yeah, I kind of have a data center. I have my pretty much my entire home network and my lab inside a data center. So right now we're, we're talking, we're inside my cabinet, which is kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of like my ultimate geek mode here. So pretty, pretty freaking sweet. So you may be wondering why I'm doing this, or why I did this. Well, you'll know that, uh, remember last year when I said I, I was, I quit my job to travel? I'm quitting my job so I can travel with my family of five in an RV trip across America. And I have no idea when we're gonna stop, but it's gonna be amazing. Well, uh, I kind of did that again. No, 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 I, I didn't quit CBT Nuggets. I quit my other job for CBT Nuggets, and now uh, I'm traveling. I've gotta be fully remote. So what I did is actually, I sold everything. I, except my electronics and my clothes. <laughs> and my family did too. So we don't have cars, we don't have uh, furniture. We, uh, we're gonna be traveling the world. Uh, first stop, any guesses? So, I'm in France. Uh, Paris to be exact. Like I was saying, the family and I, we sold everything we have. I'm not even kidding, we sold everything. All we have are suitcases and backpacks. And of course, all my tech stuff. Now, why am I doing this? It's pretty strange, right? Well, if you wanna know more about it, uh, my wife runs this amazing vlog called Let's Just Go Dot Family. It's kind of our adventure, it's all about us. If you, so if you wanna know more about me and my personal journey and my family's, Go follow it, let's just go dot family. That's the website. Dot family, another website uh, domain. It's kind of strange. Right now, we're in Paris. Uh, where are we gonna go next? I don't know. Actually, I think I might be going to the UK to uh, say hi to David Bomble, so be looking for that. Croissant and espresso. Ah, oh, perfect combination. So I'm traveling, that's what I'm doing in my life, but I wanted to tell you about how uh, I solved a pretty big problem I had, uh, and that was having a lab while traveling. I obviously, I can't take my entire lab with me. I have two humongous Dell servers, routers, switches. Uh, I really can't carry that with me through an airport. Could you imagine that? Now, I could have gone to a smaller, compact lab, or maybe gone all cloud. I don't want to do that. I wasn't going to make any compromises just because I'm traveling the world. Come on. So what I did, I made this decision. I Obviously, I put my stuff into a data center. Vive la France. It's beautiful. Bicheron. It's beautiful. Le bois. Le bois. And people see a camera and they just come at you. Anyways, now even more interesting was how was I going to access this stuff in my data center? Obviously, I could set a VPN. Uh, and that's good, but I wanted more than that because I'm going to have uh, Cisco phones wherever I go. Actually, I travel with three Cisco phones. <laughs> which is a little much. I was gonna take more, my wife wouldn't let me. Which means I needed more than just remote access VPN. I needed to have uh, like a remote site VPN for wherever I went. So now in my lab, I have a remote site that's always me traveling and uh, I'm doing DM VPN, which if you're studying for your CCNA, that's a topic they rush, a little, just, they just barely touch on. You go CCMP, they show you how to configure some of it, and then CCIE, they really get into the, the meat of it. But it's really, uh, what, what is DM VPN? It's for remote access for your branches. You can have a lot of branches, a lot of sites that connect with Cisco routers back to your home, your hub. So let me show you what I have real quick. Let's get back to my place. All right, so let's take a look at my lab. So here's what I got here. And I, I have to keep it in the kitchen because the router, this. Uh, lady has in this Airbnb is in the kitchen and thankfully I get an Ethernet connection, which is pretty cool Okay, so first on the list is my router. I have a Cisco 881 uh, Branch router. It's really a branch router that I take with me and makes a uh, DMVPN connection a VPN connection back to my uh, Data center in Dallas, so it's, it's kind of cool. I have a uh, from my Airbnb in Paris I have a VPN connection back to my data center in Dallas, Texas. That's nuts now another problem I had to solve was PoE 
Uh, Cisco phones require power. Now I can carry a, a power adapters around with me, but that's kind of heavy. Uh, the other option would be a switch, but most of the PoE switches are kind of big, but I found this amazing small business uh, switch that offers four PoE ports. So it powers all my phones, no problem. And then wherever I go, I have my own Wi-Fi. Always. Let's just go dot family. So if you ever see that SSID wherever you are, hey, I'm there. Uh, and I, of course, I use Unify access points. They are at a really great price point. They have great performance. Uh, I have the AP Pro AC Lite, I believe. I'll link it below. Um, it was like 70 bucks, but you, if you can throw a controller on one of your servers, so actually my controller is on my uh, server back in Dallas and it communicates back with that, but it's, it's so cool. It's so powerful. And then of course, I'm a collaboration guy and I have to have my phones. So here are my Cisco phones. And again, these phones are communicating back to my data center in Dallas. That means they are registered with my call manager on my server in Dallas, which is so cool. And also fun fact, you remember my brother Cameron? Well, he's got a uh, Cisco router in his house and it's also connected via DMVPN to my data center in Dallas. So I have a direct connection to my brother as well, which is kind of cool. So no matter where I am in the world, we have, we share an internet connection, we share routes. Now, another problem I wanted to make sure I was ready for is what if I don't have an ethernet connection? I mean, I'm not always gonna have that, right? That's where Unify comes in and saves my butt again. I found this amazing product called the Unify uh, Bridge, I think. Let me grab it real quick. I'm not using it here because I have an ethernet connection, but there are places where I, I've actually used it in a hotel uh, when I went to Cisco Live, and it worked like a charm. I even got it to work with the guest access portal, which is pretty sick. Where did I put it? <laughs> So it's this guy right here, the uh, Unify Air Gateway. And what this will do is act as like a repeater. Uh, it'll be its own station, so it'll just connect to any Wi-Fi and then just offer it as an ethernet connection to uh, my router. Um, it can also uh, act as its own standalone router, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'll link that below. It's like, I think it's like 30, 40 bucks. It's really a steal and the connection's fantastic. Now let me show you what my lab used to look like. It was a complete and total mess because it was in my apartment. It was in, in my, my closet and my wife hated it. It, it made it hot, it was noisy. Uh, so I cleaned all that up and now here it is in my data center. Beautiful, oh, perfect. I love it. And I actually monitor my home network and my data center connection with uh, PRTG, a great network monitoring software. It's free up to 100 sensors, so I had to kind of scale down a bit, but it, it does the job. And I have this awesome map I use. Let me show you my diagram real quick. Okay, so let's get logged into my uh, PRTG NetChuck server here, and uh, I'll show you what I have going on. So here is my, my fun land, my network, and uh, here, <laughs> It's, I got my DMVPN tunnel, my, my little, my fun tunnel to <laughs> awesomeness. So right now here I am in Paris. Um, I'll have to change it up to wherever I go next. And uh, going back to my data center in Dallas. And it's really slick because I can add uh, traffic metrics and everything on this map and make it look really slick. Um, and of course I get notifications when things go down through my app and everything. So I highly recommend PRTG for home network monitoring. Uh, really low resource on my uh, my domain controller I have it running on, and uh, yeah, it's it's cool. And for you nerds out there, which should be all of you, I'm running EIGRP and OSPF in my network. I plan to add uh, some firewalls as well when time permits. If I had ASAs, I would do it, but now I'm gonna mess with uh, PFSense, which I played with before on my Raspberry Pi, which is what I'll be using as my remote firewall that travels with me. And also I do still use remote access VPN when I'm just out and about, whatever, and I wanna get back to my stuff in, in my house or, or in my data center. So I use L2TP on my router. Well guys, that's about it. Just wanna catch you up to, well, what I'm up to and kinda of show you what I'm doing with my network now that it's kinda of spiffy, kinda of cool, that I'm traveling around and maintaining a connection back with my stuff in my data center. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I got more stuff coming out. Interviews with some really amazing people, Jeremy Chara, Kevin Wallace, David Bomble, Anthony Sequeira, and also my footage from Cisco Live. I haven't posted anything about that yet, and it was amazing, so get ready for that. That's it. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, hey guys, real quick, I had to mention this. Special shout out and special thanks to my dad and my brother for helping me out getting my stuff into my data center. I could not have done that without them. It's a lot of work. I mean, I thought it'd be quick. <laughs> but no, they helped me out, they helped me rack, they helped me stack, helped me wire things up. Cameron, you know you know Cameron, he's been on this channel before, he uh, is working on his stuff, he wants to become a network engineer. And But you haven't met my dad. Uh, my dad's name is also Chuck, but he's also in IT. He's a VMware guy, a systems guy, a Microsoft guy. Um, he has his VCP. Let me know if you want to know more about that. Maybe I'll have to have him on for an interview. Anyways, love my fam. Thanks brother, thanks dad. Hi from France. <laughs>